In this video, we're going to learn how to use t-table. t-table is the table that describes students' t-distribution. But first, let me say a few words about students' t-distribution itself. We learned um, when the sample size is small, and that's usually less than 30, then sampling distribution of the sample mean does not follow normal distribution. It follows distribution that's similar to normal. Well, it's called student's t distribution. And here's the picture um, from the table. So while it looks very similar to the normal distribution, t distribution has more area right here in the tails. So what's interesting is that shape of the t distribution changes depending on the sample size. So as sample size increases, the shape of the t distribution gets closer and closer to the shape of the normal distribution. Now this is how a t table is set up. In the t table, areas are denoted or listed in the top row. The, these are the these are the areas. As you can see, there are not that many options here. How it's different from the z table? Well, is that those areas are areas in the right tail, so there are areas to the right of the corresponding t values. So that's one node. These are the areas to the right, areas in the right tail. And what we have in the first column um, is what we call degrees of freedom. Now, degrees, degree of freedom is tied to the sample size. Degree of freedom is always one less than the sample size. In the description of student distribution, it's written here. So degree of freedom is n minus 1. So it's always one less than um, the sample size. So, and these are all the options here. And since t distribution is different from normal distribution only for small samples, we can say that when the degree of freedom is more than 30, then the t-distribution starts behaving same as the normal distribution. But now what are those values within the table itself? Well, these are the corresponding t-value. By the way, think about t-value as the z-value. It's the um, um, same, same idea. So as we look at the formula where we have to find t-value, this formula resembles um, formula for z-score. Z so let's try this example. It says, find the t value such that the area under the t distribution to the right of t value is 0.2, assuming 10 degrees of freedom. So in other words, find t with subscript 0.20 with 10 degrees of freedom. So df represents degrees of freedom. Now, as you remember, when we use subscript next to z, z value, or in this case, t value, that always represents area to the right. But in the case of the t distribution, that's a good thing because well, our table is set up in terms of areas to the right. So now with this given information to use the table or to find what t equals to using the table, I have to find the following area in the top row and the following degree of freedom in the first column. So point 20, right? So point 20 is up here. And then here's the list of degrees of freedom, 10. Um, and where that column and row intersect, that's where will be the corresponding t value. So point 20 for the area and then 10 for degrees of freedom right here. 0 0.879. 0 0.879. So if I sketch a t distribution, by the way, again, its shape depends on the sample size, which is tied into the degrees of freedom. Um, information that I found indicates the following. So the t value such that the area to the right, right of the t value is 0.2. Area is 0.2 or 0.20. I can 
0.20. That corresponding t value is 0.879. So that's where the t value has to be positioned. So area to the right is 0.20.